everyone, back again for another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really nice princess tower for a princess themed birthday party. Now what's really cool about this one is that you could use it for uh, frozen themed birthday party, Sophia the First, uh, anything Ariel, Little Mermaid, anything that any princess party that you can imagine you could use this tower for. You will have to change the colors depending, like say if it's frozen you maybe want to use blue. Uh, blue and white, um, and then, you know, uh, correspond your tower to the colors of the theme princess that you're going to do. I'm going to show this video, um, I'm going to show you a mini tower, okay? We're going to use a balloon pedestal for this, uh, but if you, all you have to do is change the sizes to make it a big tower. So, I'm going to show you everything you have to do, so you can either make it uh, for a cake table, or if you want to make a big entranceway uh, or a nice backdrop, or, you know, where you have a, a photo opportunity to be taken, you can make it a, a bigger uh, column that way, okay? So, with all that being said, let's get started. Okay, so, I am using 5-inch white balloons today, 5-inch pink balloons, some uh, white 260s, we're going to need a weight, and also you're going to need some construction paper. For the smaller one, I use regular construction paper. If you're going to be doing the bigger one, uh, if you want to do a big, you know, a nice six foot, eight foot tower, you're going to need to go to like Office Max Staples or, I don't know, I'll order it on Amazon. I'll put a link in below. All my stuff is from Amazon because it's easy. If you get Prime, they ship it to you for free, so it's really cool. Uh, but you can get like an oak tag and you can make the, and that's going to be for the, for the top of the, the castle. You can make... Uh, you'll need a big piece of oak tag, or like I said, for this one, we're just using construction paper. All right, and that's it. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you before we get to the pedestal part. We're going to show you like the uh, the chain links. Okay, so go ahead and make a quad of five inch pink balloons. These are going to be blown up to about I think these are I did these at three inches. So you blow them up three inches, make a quad. The way you make a quad is by taking two duplets, you tie two blues together, the other two you tie them together. Uh, these are small, this is gonna go on top of this quad. But you, you marry them together, and you tie them together, and then you marry the two together, and you make a quad. Simple, very easy, okay? Um, and so you take your pink quad, you're gonna put that down, you're gonna take your white quad, these are blown up to about one and a half inches, two inches, and you lay them on top here, and I'm going to grab the nozzle from the pink quad, okay, one of them, and I'm going to wrap it around the quad below. So we put that together. I like to put it on the table here. Hopefully you can see it. And the way you do it, you don't want to stack them like this. You always stack them, uh, the one on, in, you put the top one in between the bottom two, okay? And we're just going to wrap that nozzle around. Put it on the, on the table and that's going to go ahead and straighten them out. And you have something that looks like that. And then now you need to add your weight. You can use any weight. This weight is just made by um, filling it with water. But I suggest you putting any sand in there. I have videos on that. So just check out my videos. I'll just put in there how to make your own balloon weight. Or if you have your own weights, feel free to use them. Okay? <clears throat> and the way I'm just going to add the weight, I'm just going to stretch out the balloon and wrap it, wrap it around. Same way I did the quad. Very easy, you know, just get it in there the best you can. It's not rocket science, okay? Now you have your, this is going to give you your base, okay? Once you have that, put that to the side. Now we're going to make our chain links. All right, the chain links is very easy. For the bigger, if you're going to do this a big size, all you need to do is fill up your 260s, and you, I'll show you right here. So take a 260. If uh, you're a newbie, you're going to need to buy, or not, not only a newbie, just uh, you might need to, if you don't have a balloon pump, buy a balloon pump. You'll need them for the 260s. Uh, Alright, so what we're going to do is tie this together. And then you'll take another one. And all you do is take it in there, and you stick it through, and you tie it. Alright, and that's going to give you your chain links. And you do it for however long that you want your chain links to be. So, we're going to make the smaller one. So, it's the same exact principle. We're just going to do it half the half size. So, all you do is you blow it up a little bit. Maybe one or two pumps on your balloon pump. Depending how 
How big do you want your chain lengths to be? Okay, so you tie it. And all you do is you take it, you stick it in, bring it down, and you tie this together. Like so. And then what you do after you tie it, you're going to clip it and save this end tail because you're going to do that again. And all you do is you blow up this piece again and keep doing that over and over and over until you get all your links. Once you have them, you'll take a scrap, one of your scraps and put it through the last link and then we're going to wrap that around our base. So. And then we're going to take another scrap and attach that to the column. That's going to go something like, uh, like that. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So once you put that, have that, put that aside, and let's go ahead and get started with the balloon pedestal. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our column. Uh, we're going to take a, you're going to make a quad of five inch white balloons. This is going to be blown up to around four to five inches, almost the max. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and you're going to get a balloon pedestal. Now, you don't need to spend a lot of money on this. I show you how to make a video, how to make a balloon pedestal. Put it, Type that in YouTube if you find it, or check out my playlist. If I remember, I'll put it in the description area below for you. But anyway, real simple. It's like $2 to make, okay? It's a plant prop at a time. Anyway, take your quad. You stick it onto your bottom of your pedestal, and you rotate the two balloons here, like so. All right, now we're going to take this... We're going to go back and forth, and the reason why we do, we're going to use uh, three inch balloons, uh, five inch balloons blown up to three inches, and then we're going to have five inch balloons blown up to about one and a half, two inches. And you're going to make sure they're all the same size, whatever size that you're doing, but you're going to go big, small, big, small. And it's going to give you like a straight line effect. And it looks really nice. You can even do that if you're going to be doing it for the bigger columns. You can go like seven inches, nine inches, seven inches, nine inches. Or you can even do like maybe six nine six nine will even look, look nicer okay so uh let's go ahead and start it so we're going to start with our bigger one here and make your quad stick that on and you rotate these two like we always do and just make sure that these balloons at the top balloons fall nestled in between the bottom this would be a no-no you don't want to stack it like that because it's not going to come out right you stack it like that if you can see that okay get that on there now we're going to go Small, small quad, rotate them, big quad. And you're going to do that all, all around until you get to the top. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do that real quick. I'm trying to go quick here so hopefully it doesn't get too lopsided because I don't want to waste your time. Right? Time is valuable. You can't be watching videos all day. Like, this guy just talks too much. He's not working. Well, he's not at a explain it too much, he's not showing what to do. So, all right, almost done here. Let me just spin it and make sure that we're, we're doing going the right way. Yeah, all right. Okay, so almost getting to the top here. So we're going small, big, small, big, small, big, or big, small, big, small, big, small, whatever you want to say. Then we're going to put our last big one on, uh, big pink on, okay? And then, once you get here, we're going to go ahead and end it with our same size white balloons, about five, four inches, okay? And we're going to put that right on the top. And we're doing the same thing, just rotating it. And pushing that down. Okay, once you have that, let's put that over to the side so you can see me. Just make a try with your uh, balloons. This is going to help help put the topper on. This is what this piece is for. So make three, take three balloons, blow them up to about one inches, tie them all together, and then take that nozzle and wrap that around the quad below. Okay, so that's what we just left there. Now, for your top, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Let's see. I don't want to take this one apart. I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. Okay. All right, so let me go ahead and show you how we made this, okay? I took my construction paper, and all you got to do is make a semicircle, okay? That's a half a circle. 
All right, and then when you what you do is take your semicircle, you bend it in half, and then you just put it together like this. Very simple. Put some tape. You want to do the tape on the inside so you don't see it, but you just bend it. That's what you're doing. If you can see that, and you take that like so. Oopsie. Tape's not really sticking that well. But there you go. You tape that, and now you have your <clears throat> top part for your... And you got to take like a, bar a barbecue skewer, you know, if you're going to make some barbecue. All right? You, you, you chop off the top part with some scissors, because uh, it'll be sharp. There'll be a pointy end. And um, you'll go ahead and stick that through, and you just make a triangle, cut that out. And that's just taped on. Okay? Let me see if you can see that inside there. Okay? And the barbecue skewer, once you tape it to the top... The bottom two is going to go right in the middle. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. So, put that right in the middle, and it covers the other three balloons, and booyah! There's your balloon column, and now for the master, for the ending touch, the master touch, for the ending touch, we're just going to go ahead and take our base with our chain links, and we'll take a scrap. Where's that scrap? You need a scrap here. <clears throat> Take your scrap, and all you'll do is wrap it around your column. Oopsie. What all I'm doing is just taking it and wrapping it around a couple balloons. Nothing. And there you go. Now you can make this longer or shorter depending on how many links you want. Okay, you can turn it depending on how you want it to look. But there you go. Now if you did a bigger one, like I said, you'd use the bigger ones. And these come out really looking really nice. Um, and you would just go ahead and make this going all the way up to a nice six foot column. Okay? So that's it. There's your princess castle. You can use it for any type of princess theme. If you like my videos, Make sure you press the subscribe button below. I think I got one right over there. And um, make sure you like it. Check out all my other videos. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.